What's going on everybody? In this video, I loaded in Parkersburg, West Virginia. I was originally heading to Tennessee, but I got a phone call from Jerry when I was about a mile from Interstate 70 in Columbus, and he said, make a left and head to Parkersburg, West Virginia. So I did. And you're gonna see that I loaded some soda ash in the rain and mud in West Virginia off of a rail car, so check that out. Made my way down Fancy Gap, spent the night at the bottom of Fancy Gap, got up early this morning and came down to Warner Robins, Georgia. You'll see a little bit of footage of that and some footage of the bottom drop delivery. So enjoy, hope you guys like the video, stay tuned. Catch you later, bye. Okie dokie, I haven't put out too many videos lately, but we're gonna try to get one out here. I am in Southern Ohio on Route 50. And I'm making my way down the road here just a little bit to Parkersburg, West Virginia. Uh, picking up a load going down to Georgia. Not sure of the specifics yet because Jerry told me just head to Parkersburg. Here's the address. I'm still trying to get the load information. I will actually be at the shipper before he gets the load information. So I may have it before him. I'm not sure. But I am crossing the Ohio River right now into West Virginia on Route 50. Welcome to wild, wonderful West Virginia. I spent the night at home last night crossing the Ohio River here. I was up in Canada yesterday delivering to Welland, Ontario. It's a load that I've done once before where I was crossing the Peace Bridge. So I delivered that yesterday afternoon, loaded it out of Leedsdale, Pennsylvania. It's a repeat load. I've done it before. Got empty up there, came back down and was about out of hours when I got to the house. So I just stopped at the house, did some laundry, got up this morning when my 10 hour break was over and took off. And Went down to Dalton, Ohio, got this trailer washed out. Dried it out a little bit because I was originally heading to Knoxville, Tennessee. Jerry diverted me in Columbus, told me make a left and head to Parkersburg, West Virginia. So I gotta stop over here and before I load, make sure this trailer is completely dry. If not, I'm gonna have to dry it off some. So we'll get back with you guys in a little bit. We're on 50 in West Virginia. We're only about 10 minutes from the shipper, so we'll catch you guys soon. Bye-bye.
I am in Parkersburg at uh, Dean Stott, I think is the name of it. I'm not sure. It's a rail facility. It's raining. My phone's getting wet. Picking up a load of soda ash. You can see up top, they're loading me off a rail car. I'm coming over here where it's less noisy. But it's coming off a rail car back here, up their conveyor, into hole number two. Then I'm going to load hole number three. I normally load the trailer with 11 tons in number two and 12 tons in number three and it pretty much balances out to axle correctly so this is going down to georgia not sure where i didn't even look at the paperwork just know it's going to georgia somewhere it's soda ash bottom drop but uh we're gonna get this on and as you can see the men are over here taking it off the rail car up the conveyor and into the trailer so we're getting it knocked out catch you in a bit we have hole number two taken care of. We're on three now. I'll show you guys. My gauge right here is what I watched for the trailer. It's climbing slowly. And then this gauge is the one that I watched for the drives. I'm at 28,000 and it is slowly climbing. I normally cut them off at about 33,000 on each gauge and that works out pretty good. I load 46K most occasions 23 tons so these guys over here super nice fellas getting it taken care of i just let them know what i needed and this conveyor has a tonnage scale which is awesome so makes it a lot easier to cut it off where i need it and we're good to go so we're going to get this done get it buttoned up and get ready to roll before it rains too much more and they have to stop we'll catch you later bye bye I just broke out of the tunnel out of Bluefield, West Virginia, down into Virginia. And finally out of the rain. 63 degrees out. Boy, it's nice. Got across the mountains there. Just a really nice evening getting some sunshine. My truck is completely trashed. My windows are filthy. I'm going to have to get this thing squared away when I get down the road here tonight. Get these windows cleaned along the way somewhere I'll get it washed if the weather's going to hold up but right now we're going to cruise down through here I think I have about three hours left that I can work today we get down into North Carolina somewhere park it call it a day and get up tomorrow and take off I have to be into Warner Robins by two o'clock they cut off at two to deliver tomorrow I should be down there about 11.30 to 12 o'clock, so that's what I'm going to shoot for. That's what we're working with. Catch you guys in a little bit. Bye. cruising along some back road four lane here in Georgia. This is route 540. Made my way down through Columbia, South Carolina into Augusta and hooked it west out of Augusta off of I-520. And I'm probably about eh, 20 minutes out of Macon, 10 minutes out of Macon, Georgia. So I'm heading that way right now gonna take this down to 16 here in about eight miles and then from there I'm gonna hop on uh, 16 west to 75 south down to Warner Robins it's rainy drizzly out today 
so nice day though it's 60 degrees it's all right i don't mind a day like this it's cool i'm gonna go down here and get this uh, soda ash off the trailer that i loaded up in parkersburg west virginia yesterday it's a bottom drop which is great don't have to run the blower basically just pull up over their their hopper open the bottom doors open the valve let it flow at whatever rate they can take it, and whatever rate it'll come out of the trailer. Shouldn't take too awful long. Uh, anticipating uh, getting in and out of there in a few hours. They cut off at 2 o'clock, I'll be there at noon. So, well, providing I don't run any backups between here and there. I'm only 35 minutes away from the delivery, so it should work out pretty good. Hope I don't have too long of a delay there. Maybe some other trucks, but I know they cut off at two, like I said. So, we'll see what we can do. But anyhow, we're going to get on down the road here in rainy south central Georgia. And get on over to Macon. Going by Warner Robins Air Force Base. And there's a couple of C5 Galaxies that are out there getting stripped down. They must be refurbishing some of them. I did not realize they had the C5s down here. It's been forever since I've been to Warner Robins, but I have been to this base before. It's been a long time ago. This is, if I'm not mistaken, the home of Air Force Reserve Command, which is run by a three-star general. Definitely see a bunch of C5s out there on the line. There's some C130s. I don't know if they have C17s or not. I'm not sure. But I know I definitely see... Oh yeah, they have C17s out there. C17, C5s, and C130s. And just to let you guys know, uh, I have a lot of experience with the C17 Globemaster. What an amazing aircraft. That thing is awesome. If I had to guess my favorite plane, as far as airlift, hands down, the C-17. I was a C-130 Loadmaster for a while. I was air crew for a good little while. And have a lot of time working with C-5s, C-130s, and C-17s. Just really cool stuff. So, as I cruise by Warner Robins, it's a very large complex. All right, we're going to get down the road here a few minutes, get this delivery off the trailer, hopefully. Catch you later. We're shaking out, everybody. I am at Anchor Glass in Warner Robins, Georgia. I am bottom dropping a load of soda ash. I picked this up yesterday up in Parkersburg, West Virginia. Kenny, another Oakley, is right here in his studio sleeper waiting to deliver behind me. The conveyor is a little slow here, <coughs> excuse me, but we're getting it. So we have product flowing. I have done number one, two, and I'm on three. And I have number four yet to go. We're going to get this knocked out. Bottom drops are great. Just open the valve and let it flow. So it's a beautiful day down here in Georgia. It rained most of the morning coming in. But the sun time now, it's about 65 to 70 degrees in the Good, that's for a nice one day. So full video is going to be coming out soon. Catch you guys later on. Bruce Oakley, getting it done. Catch you later. I'm going to wrap this video up right here at the Eagle Truck Wash here in Jackson, Georgia. Beautiful day. Now, it rained this morning. As you saw, it's 83 degrees out. Look at the sky. Thanks, Lord, for an awesome day. When I get done getting this trailer washed out, getting the trailer outside washed and getting my truck washed, I'm going right across the street to the TA and I'm calling it a day because Atlanta's nothing but red lines. I get up about four in the morning and make my way up that way. I am not even going to entertain that right now. It's early enough, I'll get parking over there. I'm gonna go over, work on this video, get it out to you guys and I'm gonna call it a day. So I hope you've enjoyed, I hope you like the channel. Thank you, please like and subscribe. Jimmy's Road Life, L-Y-F-E at gmail.com. If you're interested in Bruce Oakley, I would greatly appreciate it if you reached out to me if you had any questions. Happy to help in any way that I can. So you guys have a great afternoon. Guys, gals, enjoy. Okay? What a beautiful day. Just love it. Catch you later. Bye.